Welcome to Plant Medicine Transmissions with Javier Regueiro. In the following episodes of Plant Medicine Transmissions, I will be going through a list of questions that are part of a questionnaire that I wrote for both my Ayahuasca and San Pedro books. The questionnaires are actually two, one for oneself and one for prospective ceremonial retreat host or leader. My reason for writing these questionnaires is because for me safety is a most important aspect of this process. This is a very powerful and therefore very delicate process. And the safer we are as we engage in this process, the more we're going to be able to receive from it. It is important to understand that safety is not just the responsibility of our hosts or ceremonial retreat leaders, but safety is something that we co-create. All of us who are participating in any plant medicine circles. Plant medicine circles are circles. And uh, the safety, the strength of the circle is made by each point on that circle. We have a tendency to deflect responsibility for the safety, the good uh, unfoldment of our own experience to others. But uh, that responsibility starts with ourselves. And I believe that if everybody who attends plant medicine circles are taking responsibility for their own safety, for their own preparation, then we easily avoid that blaming game that is unfortunately still quite rampant in medicine circles. Many people engage in plant medicine ceremonies in countries where these plant medicines are still illegal and therefore unregulated and uh, this sometimes turns into a free-for-all kind of environment. For me, the fact that there is in many places no jurisdiction, no quality control over this process, is an invitation, an invitation to actually take responsibility and to self-regulate our own experience. So let's start with the first questionnaire, which is made of questions for oneself before signing up for a ceremony or retreat. Question 1. What is my general state of health? Do I feel physically fit enough to experience a possibly challenging healing experience? So this is an invitation to look inside and see how fit we are because plant medicine ceremonies can be very challenging even on a simple physical level. The purging that is often involved in this kind of ceremonies is not for people who are too debilitated physically. The second question is, what are the medications and supplements, prescription and non-prescription alike, that I have been taking recently? Are any of them contraindicated in the case of ingesting ayahuasca or San Pedro? This is for me a very important question. Plant medicines are affecting us on all levels but particularly they are 
affecting us on the level of the neurochemistry of our brain chemistry. Therefore, if we are taking already uh, supplements or medications that do affect us on a brain level, on a synaptic level, and this does not necessarily need to be antidepressants or uh, uh, anti-anxiety medication, but all medication, even something as simple as Welbutrin or even aspirin. Aspirin affects our metabolism. So it's important when we engage in this process to make sure that we don't overwhelm our system, that our chemistry is as non-affected by other substances. So this is, this is the question. If one is taking this or that substance on a regular basis, are we willing to let go of this use in preparation for a ceremony or retreat f during the process and for a few days afterwards? It is important to make a list of all of these substances, supplements, medications, and double check uh, with someone who knows about these things or online or even better with the host or leader of the ceremony or retreat and see whether these substances are contraindicated in the case of ingesting ayahuasca or San Pedro. Personally, I do not allow people to come to my ceremonies if they are taking antidepressants or anti-anxiety, any kind of medication that affects brain chemistry. And I do expect uh, these prospective clients to wean themselves off all of these medications before attending any of my retreats. This is because I cannot possibly risk the person's health or risk the person being totally overwhelmed by some unexpected uh, neuro fireworks that go in uh, non-positive ways. So this is also part of a process of cleansing. Plant medicine is a purificatory process. Therefore, it's important to begin that process of cleansing by weaning ourselves off of these medications and substances so that we can come to the medicine better prepared and with a system, a nervous system that is relatively clean. The process of weaning ourselves off of medication is not to be taken lightly. This is not actually about stopping cold turkey the day before a ceremony. It's a process that is best engaged with, with the support and the advice of the medical doctor who have prescribed these substances to begin with. And in this, it's a matter of taking the time to wean ourselves off of these substances. If we wish to stop cold turkey, for many of these medications, the side effects of stopping abruptly is not pleasant and it can actually cause very important 
psychotic breakdowns or changes in mood that are totally overwhelming. So it's important to be aware that whatever we take does affect us in the short and the long term. And whenever we decide to let go of these medications, to do it with the proper care and also with the proper support. Oftentimes, these mood-altering substances and medications are meant to numb us, are meant to keep our emotions, so to speak, under control. Therefore, when we decide to wean ourselves off from these medications, all of these repressed emotions, moods and thoughts will resurface. And that is very challenging for most people. Otherwise, we would not have started taking those medications to begin with. So it's important to see, to be aware that there is a process of becoming increasingly vulnerable, of opening up the lid of our emotions and true thoughts. In that, it's important to make aware people in our surrounding, our friends, our families, co-workers, and to let them know and say, I'm weaning myself off of these medications. I may act or react erratically, and I may actually need your support. The support in weaning ourselves off of these medications is, as far as I'm concerned, always to remind oneself that whatever we feel is okay and that it's actually okay for us to feel all of these things that we may have skillfully kept at bay for a really long time. This preparatory process, which also includes, as far as I'm concerned, complete abstinence from all mind-altering substances, drugs, and alcohol, is a test. Is a test to see if we are truly willing to open up to ourselves to open up to receiving whatever the medicine may have to show us, to offer us. For me, failure to follow this abstinence, if we're not willing to give up these substances that keep us in our comfort zone, that keep us mildly numbed out, is a sign that the person is not quite yet ready to engage in this process. And it's important to honor ourselves whether we are ready or not ready. If we know that we are not ready, then to engage in this process against our own wisdom can be quite dangerous can be very challenging in the moment under the effects of these medicines and can result in reactions that are not uh, positive, that are, it's, it's actually a kind of re-traumatizing rather than a healing experience. The next question is, Have I had any surgeries in the previous six months that may require some more healing before I engage with plant medicines again? This is an important question because under the effects of the medicine, we may actually have 
motions, movements that can be quite violent and out of control. Therefore, if I'm still, for instance, healing from a fractured bone, what may happen is that that fracture is going to be hurt again. The same is also in regards to internal surgeries, particularly surgeries on the intestinal digestive system. If we are to purge oftentimes violently, this may result in a rupturing of tissues that may still be healing inside of ourselves. So it's important to wait. My general rule is to wait at least six months after a surgery before engaging with plant medicines. This is very important, not only for our own health, but it's also very important for the positive unfolding of a ceremony or retreat. That is, if we suffer from a rupture, say for instance, of our intestines, or we re-fracture a healing bone during a ceremony, that means that we're going to have to call an ambulance, to call a doctor. And this is not exactly what people go to a ceremony for. They don't go to experience an emergency call to an ambulance. So it's important for us to be aware that it's not just ourselves who are participating in this experience. And to be less selfish. And if we know that we are not fit enough for this experience just yet, to wait. To wait until we feel that our participation in this ceremony does not become a nuisance and a possibly danger for other people present. The next question is, do I have a history of depression, bouts of paranoia or mental breakdowns that indicate that I am not psychologically ready to engage in this process? Am I open to discuss any such trouble with the host before they agree to allow my participation? These, as far as I'm concerned, are very important questions. Plant medicines are not to be taken lightly. The ceremonies are healing ceremonies. More likely than not, one is to face aspect of oneself that one has been running away from. Therefore, it is important to see, to assess, whether we have the psychological maturity to engage in this process. Ayahuasca is nowadays uh, touted as a magic potion, a miracle potion. This may be partly correct, but in order to engage with this medicine, we need to have a minimum of psychological maturity and stability. Now, we may feel the call to engage in this process. We may intuit that this process may be most helpful in helping us getting out of certain predicaments. However, this healing that we seek is going to go through our own being, through our own pain, and through those aspects that we hope to heal, rather than just jumping across and beyond it. So it's important if we are prone to mental, psychological breakdowns, if we have a tendency to feel paranoid, that is, 
to project our own fears onto the outside world. And if we project them outside, is because we are not ready or willing to actually face and take responsibility for our very own fears. So we project them outside. That is already a sign that our willingness to face our fears is quite diminished. So it's important to ask oneself, am I willing to actually openly talk about my predicament, my personal history, to the host or the leader of the ceremony or retreat I wish to join and discuss with them whether I am ready for such an experience. I am fond of calling ayahuasca the Ferrari of transformation. However, we do not drive a Ferrari right after getting our driver's permit. And in many cases, it's important to possibly start this healing process not by ingesting plant medicines, but by engaging in other therapeutic modalities such as psychotherapy, such as various kinds of breath work, in order to open ourselves up to feeling, to experiencing. Blessings.